an alien would come on the planet and would ask me what I do, I guess I would say I'm an artist. I entertain people. I create my music and then I perform it on stage. But I have to say that even for me to think that I'm about to play in front of you know 10 or 15,000 people, I don't know, and I do this every day, playing records as a DJ, it's pretty crazy. I think an alien probably would not believe me. A dream collaboration would be probably finding a new Sia that people don't know yet. Vegas or Ibiza? Ibiza. Title of the next single. Ah, this I cannot say. <laughs> When it's a David Geller concert, I need to put a lot of my own music because, you know, this is what it's about. Uh, but at the same time, I want to give a unique experience to people. So all my records that I'm playing tonight are unique versions that you cannot normally hear on the radio or, you know, even on the Internet. Actually, there's this, uh, my, my very first record is called Just a Little More Love. And... Um, I made a 2018 version uh, for this tour and oh my god, I played it at the end of the show yesterday. It was so insane, the reaction, so I cannot wait to play it tonight. Favorite app on your iPhone? WhatsApp, non-stop. And Instagram too. And I do all my Instagram myself. Favorite David Guetta's track? That, that is difficult to pick only one, honestly. It's very difficult. I know. But it's Titanium. It's true, you're right. You're right. <laughs> when you come on stage and you perform for 10, 20, 100,000 people, of course, you need to come with a show. You're not just an underground club DJ. You, you are a performer and, and it's, it's similar. Uh, to a rock band or a, a, a pop act and, and you need to entertain the people so visually has to be very strong and uh, that's why I come with a real visual performance and not only musical. Track that you want to hear at your funeral? I get a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, tonight is going to be a good night. Forever. We're going to party in the inferno. Exactly. I'm still very happy, and especially this tour, because you know, I told myself I'm going to be a little more selfish. I'm gonna think about my own happiness. Sometimes you wanna please the people so much, but then it becomes a little less soulless. And, and, and right now I have really this set that it comes from my heart. It's exactly how I feel and what I wanna play. And it's really working. Worldwide, I always stood up for bringing people together bringing a positive message, music that makes the people happy and that unite people. And uh, I'm happy to, to stand for this. Last time you cried. Last time I cried, wait, I watched, oh yeah. So last time I was in bed with my girlfriend and she was sleeping and I couldn't sleep. And I started to watch Lion. It's a very beautiful movie. And then in the middle of the movie, she wakes up and I'm like, like a, a big baby crying like this. And she looks at me like, what is wrong with you? It was a little bit embarrassing. The last years have been uh, very interesting and also a little scary for a lot of DJs because there's been so many changes in our music. A lot of new styles came out 
It's interesting because this new tour that I'm doing right now is also for me kind of the beginning of a new era. So I've been changing my set a little bit and I play more electronic and I love it. If you look at what's going on, for example, in Ibiza, what we call underground music became the trendiest music. So you just need someone that is going to come with a record that is going to use this sound with a real powerful song to cross over and then it's over for sure.